The idea that the Russian defense industry would produce 1,500 tanks per year in Medvedev's dreams is simply unrealistic. Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said that even with an increase of 60% production, at best Russia can make 400 tanks per year, and even that would be immensely hard to achieve. A lot of these tanks are not new. Russia is pulling out old tanks from the storage facilities and restoring them as quickly as it can. However, those are old machines, T-62 and maybe even T-54 and T-55 tanks. It's been reported that the repair capacity of the Ural Vagonzavod factory is eight tanks per month. That's just 96 tanks per year. And since Ukrainians are destroying several tanks every day, the Russian tank fleet will continue to shrink. And this is really good footage. Russian T-72 B-3 was working on enemy in Marinka, but got hit. Tankers run away from wrecked tank and found shelter in neighboring one. They bought a few hours or days more. A Russian T-72 B-3 tank was abandoned in Marinka, Donetsk Oblast. It features the most hilarious cope cage yet, covered with Contact-1 explosive reactive armor blocks, presumably to provide at least some protection against top attack slash drone dropped munitions. The Privid Group, without stopping its work, conducts active battles in the city of Bakhmut, destroying enemy infantry every day. This is group of snipers, Privid, the separate presidential brigade, Hetman Bodan Kmelnitsky. And this is funny. The sign on the rocket car says, to Washington, but what they hit was a public bus in Russian-occupied Sevastopol. Based on Russian incompetence, it's good they made it this far. Russia has transferred elite paratroopers to Bakhmut due to the huge losses of Wagner PMC, the spokesman of the Eastern Group of Forces Colonel Serhi Cherevati said. He added that Russian elites are also taking high casualties and are being replenished by mobilized soldiers. What will be next? Armed peasants, maybe? The leader of the PMC, Wagner Prigozhin, is alarmed by the number of troops allegedly prepared for a counteroffensive in Ukraine. He estimates it at 200, and according to some sources, up to 400,000 personnel. According to various sources, the Ukrainians should launch an offensive. They are not starting this offensive yet. They are waiting for the soil to dry out completely. Maybe they are waiting for additional missiles, armored vehicles, something else. They have gathered about 200,000, according to some sources, up to 400,000 personnel, Prigozhin says. So you had your turn, now sit and wait. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian soldiers are preparing for the spring. Ukrainian payback time is very close. Lialichka. Лялочка вымыта. 
Tak. Čo my tu majem? Oba. A tu je máš raz. Pa bilše. Zbroje nám treba. Tak. Mavik je v nás. Teplavízor je hroší. Ups. Броня, каски, моя, моя каска, за, так, це, фортуна, тут не моя, тихо, фортуна, загружаем у це ось, и в ночи отправляемось, так, хлопцы, знаху Фелес, дякую вам все раз за машины, но они дуже нас вручают. До зустрічі і ждемо контент зі сходу. Ukrainian artillery found Russian heavy 240mm self-propelled mortar 2S4 Tulip in the Kharkiv region. And for the end, something heartwarming. School children meet their coach, who was injured in Bakhmut. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.